Hello friends, today in this video I am going to discuss about the DNA replication initiation in prokaryotes. Okay, so at first, what is DNA replication? In short, we can say that DNA replication is a process to make identical copies of the parental DNA by semi-conservative method. Okay, so the DNA replication is a process to make identical copies of the parental DNA and now this whole DNA replication process for our better understanding or for our basic understanding we can separate this whole DNA replication process into three stages and that are the initiation stage, elongation stage and the termination stage. In short we can say that in initiation stage the cell prepare itself to make the identical copies. That means some proteins and some enzymes are present which helps to denature the double stranded DNA into single stranded form. And then in next, in the elongation stage, the DNA, the new nucleotide bases will be added to the complementary parental DNA strand. It is done in the elongation stage. And in the termination stage, the two newly synthesized double stranded DNA which are linked with each other they get separated in the termination stage. So in initiation stage the double stranded DNA gets separated into single stranded form and then in elongation stage the new nucleotide bases are added to add the new nucleotide bases against the complementary parental DNA okay and then in termination stage, two DNA double stranded structure get separated from each other. Okay, so this is the whole basic thing of DNA replication. And in this video, I am going to discuss about the whole DNA replication initiation process. Okay, so at first, suppose this is a whole E. coli DNA genome where I will discuss about the whole initiation process in E. coli DNA. Okay, so here a region is present which is known as the origin of replication that means where at first the double stranded dna gets separated into single stranded form that is called the origin of replication that means where the replication will be started and this region is also called the oric region and it is a 245 base pair sequence and this it is called also called the ORIC region and this ORI means origin and C stands for chromosome or chromosomal, chromosomal origin of replication. Okay, so now at first in the ORIC region, the double stranded structure gets separ get separated and form the single stranded structure. Okay, so now the question is how this is happened. This is happened or this is done by a DNA by an initiator protein, by an initiator protein which is called the DNA A protein. So now the question is how this DNA A protein recognize this ORIC region and make the make or create or unwind unwind or denature the DNA, denature the DNA in the ORIC region. So now let me explain this ORIC region that is the uh, 245 base pair region contain two conserved regions that are the five nine base pair sequence that means all of these red color regions that is five red color regions are nine base pair sequences okay and here three black color regions are the 13 base pair sequence that means all of these black color regions are 13 base pair same 13 base pair okay these are the conserved region which are present in ODC or the replication of origin of replication in E. coli genome okay so now this DNA A protein this DNA A protein recognize this 9 base pair sequence present in the ODC and bind to it now remember that 20 to 40 that means multiple copies of the DNA A protein which are conjugated with ATP that only bind to the 9 base pair sequence okay and they coil the DNA in the 9 base pair sequence 
okay so dna pro so dna a protein which are bind to atp that multiple or 20 to 40 dna a which are bind to the atp recognize this 9 bisphere sequence and bind to it and coil this structure like this which make a right handed helix it make a right handed helix in the 9 bisphere sequence which create a positive super coil okay this create a positive super coil and this positive super coil create a strain or create a stress in the nearby 13 bisphere sequence as a result this 13 bisphere sequence get denatured or get unwind okay so the question is why this 13 bisphere sequence get separated the two reasons are present the first reason is for, for this right handed helix it creates positive super coil which create the strain or stress to the nearby 13 bisphere sequence and the another reason is this 13 bisphere sequence is a 80 rich sequence and we all know that the 80 rich sequence is less stronger than GC bases because 80 rich sequence 80 rich bases have only two hydrogen bonds so they can only they can easily denatured by the strain or stress created by positive super coils so at first in the ODC region of the in the 13 bisphere region of the ODC the denaturation will be done so at first the unwinding or denaturation will be done in the 13 bisphere sequence of the ODC region because of 80 rich because 80 rich bases are present here and because of positive supercoiling the stress because of the stress created by this positive supercoiling okay so as a result it is denatured and it creates a replication bubble it creates a replication bubble okay and this this structure is called the open complex structure so here the replication bubble is done the replication bubble is created and it is called the open complex and now in next another protein will enter this is called the dna b protein which is also known as dna helicase or dna b helicase the main function of dna b helicase is to denature the whole dna double stranded dna into single stranded form okay but this dna b helicase cannot recruited cannot recruit it by itself it is recruited by a dna b this uh, it is recruited by a another protein that is called the dna c and this dna c protein called the dna b loader or the helicase loader it loaded the dna this dna c protein loaded the dna b protein into the replication bubble okay this dna c protein recruit two dna b protein in the rep two replication bubble or two sides of the replication bubble that means in this position and in this position this dna c requit this dna b protein okay and for the for this function it requires an atp hydrolysis so here the atp is hydrolyzed and the dna c protein requit this dna b protein and then the dna c protein is removed and atp atp is hydrolyzed to ADP okay and this DNA B protein entered or recruited to the two side of the replication bubble now this DNA B protein started to go in both direction to denature the double stranded DNA it go in both direction to denature the double stranded DNA into single stranded form okay and now when it creates the double when it creates the single stranded structure then the problem is another problem is problem is that the single stranded structure as the single stranded structures which are created by dna b are complementary to each other so they can the probability has there has a probability to renature themselves with each other because they are complementary bases they have complementary bases so to prevent this renaturation and another protein will come that is the single standard binding protein 
This is the single stranded binding protein. The single stranded binding protein come here and bind as the name suggests they bind to the single stranded structure. They bind to the single stranded structure, single stranded form, both single stranded form bind to it and they prevent renaturation. Okay. And another thing is when this DNA B helicase go in both direction, they create the replication for here we can see that the replication for this is the replication for and this is the replication for when they go in both direction they creates a replication two replication faults okay and ssb protein binds to the single stranded structure so that they cannot renature themselves okay and now another problem is when this dna b helicase go in both direction they get stopped or they are prevented by by a creation of positive supercoiling ahead of the DNA B in the DNA. A positive supercoil is generated ahead of this DNA B helicase in the DNA. Okay. And which prevents the DNA B helicase go further in the both direction. So to remove this positive supercoiling a another protein will come that is called the DNA gyrase or DNA gyrase. DNA gyrase will come which is a topoisomerase 2 type enzyme which come and remove or release the positive supercoiling and then again the DNA B helicase go further to denature the double stranded DNA into single stranded form. Okay. And in next another two protein will come that is the primase and the DNA polymerase. The, the role of primase is to add RNA primer, add RNA primer and the role of DNA polymerase to add the new nucleotide bases from the RNA primer against the complementary bases of the parental DNA. So DNA polymerase started adding new nucleotides from the RNA primer okay and when the DNA polymerase and primase get started start their work from that stage from that time we can say that it go, it enter into the elongation stage and before that the whole process is the initiation stage okay so this is the whole process of DNA replication initiation in prokaryotes okay thank you for watching this video